What is up guys, Light here. In today's video, we're gonna check out iOS 14.5 on the iPhone 11. And right now, you can already see the first change that we do get right here. We get a new version indicator inside software update. You can see that nice check right there and the message your iPhone is up to date with all the latest bug fixes and security enhancements. This change also applies in the watch app so if we go ahead and go inside the watch app right here and if you scroll down to general software update you can see here the new updated software indicator which we have here the message your Apple watch is up to date with all the latest bug fixes and security enhancements. Like before it just says your iPhone is up to date. And now for the next change that we do get right here is for you guys that do have an Apple watch paired with your iPhone. So previously there was already this feature that allows you to unlock your Apple watch using your iPhone. But we don't really get a notification when that happens. But now on iOS 14.5, if we go ahead and use our iPhone to unlock the Apple Watch, we should get a push notification saying that our Apple Watch is unlocked. And as you can see right here, we do get that nice notification. Unlike before, it was just a silent unlock. Also inside the Apple Watch app, we do get a new icon for face gallery and discovery has been changed to app stores. As you can see, here's the new ones and here are the old ones. Also, if you're familiar with the feature that allows you to unlock your Mac using your Apple Watch, the same feature now is available on the iPhone. So if you go inside settings in face ID and passcode and if you scroll all the way down here, you will see here a new section to unlock with Apple Watch. Similar to the feature that we have available on the Mac, your Apple Watch needs to be near your iPhone. And if face ID detects that you are wearing a mask, it would allow you to unlock your iPhone. And right now you can see on my reflection that I am wearing a mask and I am able to unlock my iPhone right here. And also that is reflected on the Apple Watch so you get notifications when your iPhone has been unlocked with your Apple Watch and in the event that you want to lock your iPhone you could just tap lock here and your iPhone would ask for your passcode again to enable Face ID. Now the next change that we do get is inside the weather app and on some locations we get next hour precipitation information. Like right here in London, we have here the sleet for the next hour displayed here on the top. And hopefully in the future, Apple would release the complete list for all the locations supported. Now the next change that we do get right here is inside the music app. So if you're familiar with the For You section, it has been renamed to Made For You, which are just playlists made by Apple for you depending on your music preference, which originally can be found here on the Listen Now tab, on the for you section and also for you guys that use the podcast app as you can see we now get a new redesign for the podcast app and if we go ahead and try to look for a random show right here you can see we get also the same banner similar to the one that we have on apple tv so now we get a uniform design for apple music tv and podcasts though we don't get a recently search on the podcast app also, if you do use Siri to send messages, we get a new design for message previews. So as you can see right here, we get this new minimalistic design. Also, we get a new interface when asking Siri to call emergency services. So as you can see right here, we have a countdown with a console button and a call button. Now for the next update that we have is inside the reminders app. And if you go to a reminders list, Right here on the top, here on the options button, we now get an option to sort our reminders. And if you go ahead and tap that, we have here the options to sort our reminders manually by due date, creation date, priority, or by title. Unlike before, in iOS 14.4, we only get these options right here, where we could just go with the name and appearance, select reminders, and show completed. Now the next update that we have is inside Apple Maps. So if we go ahead and go to a destination, so I'm just going to choose this one for our example. Tap on get directions and go. And as you can see here on the bottom, we have here a new menu drawer to see the overview, details, 
end and our route. Unlike previously, it was just an end button and you need to scroll up to see the details. Also with iOS 14.5, you can now use Siri to set your default music app. So as you can see right here, I am asking Siri to play an audio and now I can choose between all the audio compatible apps that I have here. So for instance, I'm gonna tap here on Spotify and that would be able to set Spotify as my default music player. But don't worry, Siri would be able to interchange your default app. So for instance, I'm going to ask Siri right here to play me a music using Apple Music. So it would be able to do so. And that would set Apple Music as my default music player. So if I ask Siri again to play me a song, Siri would use the last app that I used to play me that song. As you can see right here. But if I want to go ahead and switch to Spotify, I'm gonna ask Siri to do that, as you can see right here. And it would use Spotify to play the music that I want. And if I go ahead and ask Siri again to change the music, it would use again the last app that I use, which in this case, we use Spotify. So it's going to use Spotify to play a new song. Which you can see right here, we are asking Siri to play a new song and it would use the last app as my default to play the new song. And the last update that we do get right here on iOS 14.5 is that now we do get new controller support for the iPhone. So if you do have the new DualSense or the new Xbox controller, you could pair it with your iPhone and use it on your compatible apps. Lastly, running a performance test on iOS 14.5 first using Geekbench we do get a score of 1,328 for single core and 3,368 for multi core. We're comparing that from the previous update, iOS 14.4, we got the score of 1,340 for single core and 3,418 for multi core. Now, running another performance test using Antutu Benchmark, we do get a score of 512,905 on the iPhone 11. We're comparing that from the previous result, we got the score of 475,681 on iOS 14.4. So that is it guys, those are just some of the changes and new features on iOS 14.5 on the iPhone 11. How about you guys, did you spot other changes? Please let us know in the comment box below. And as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.